Um, a community once terrorized by a serial killer can finally rest a little easier. The man accused of murdering four people in Seminole Heights will spend the rest of his life in prison. The killings began on October 9th in 2017 with the death of Benjamin Mitchell. Monica Hoffa's body was found four days later in an overgrown lot. Anthony Niboa was killed on October 19th and Ronald Felton was killed November 14th. How so he killed, he killed three son men and a glider woman, man. Wow. Killed November 14th. Howell Donaldson III was arrested three days after Felton's death. Tonight, the victim's family say they are glad that this years-long nightmare is over. News Channel East Justin Shecker joining us live from the Hillsborough County Courthouse with the latest. Justin. Keith and Jen, good evening to you both. Prosecutors say they had overwhelming evidence to present to a jury that proves how Donaldson III committed the four murders within the same area of Seminole Heights. Before this serial killer is locked up in prison for the rest of his life, the victim's family members had the chance to confront him in court. Nakeshia Brown will always remember her brother Benjamin Mitchell as fat boy. I mean fat as in P-H-A-T. Passionate, honest, ambitious, and talented. And you chose to take him away from us. Mitchell was the first of the four victims to be shot and killed while a serial killer terrorized the Seminole Heights community for 51 days in the fall of 2017. What this man did to four families and a small community within the city of Tampa is cold, calculated, and unforgivable. For more than five years, Hal Donaldson III fought the charges against him. But on Monday, he finally accepted responsibility for the murders of Mitchell, Monica Hoffa, Anthony Niboa, and Ronald Felton in order to avoid the death penalty. State attorney Susan Lopez says her office accepted the plea deal because the majority of the victim's family members support it. They know that whether this case were to go before a jury in August or not, their loved ones are not coming back. Yeah, but this guy going to be jacking off and shit. And one one jack off is worth, listen, to jack off one, one time after you've killed four people for no reason, you win. If you eat a fucking honey bun, one if you eat one Skittle or one M and M after you kill four people for no reason, you win. Damn. You one get, breath of air. If you get one night of fucking, I'm talking about good sleep on a mattress, and you wake up, uh, stretch out, you won. He's gonna be. This guy's gonna live to be an old man. He's gonna have fucking all types of fucking pleasure and in 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 rest and wellness so yeah like the, i would have i would hope for the death penalty they should have gone for the death penalty man you know what i prefer him being dead but i will accept him getting life no, like you know, I, I, I'm no, okay. you, see, see the problem is is that they 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 do okay you get life if you if you uh, confess why not if you confess you get quick death but if we find you, if you find you guilty in a jury, it's a slow death. Exactly. That that should be that. That should be right. the option. Right. We're gonna fucking rip you limb from limb type of shit. Yeah. No, I'm not rip you limb from limb. That you could bust the artery and be dead in a few minutes. I'm talking about like, yeah, but like, it's more fun to watch them when they're tied to four horses at the limb. <laughs> I'm talking about man, real torture, man. I'm talking about like um, pulling off your fingernails. Um, I can't. Root. I can You seen these Mexican ex cartel executions? No, I haven't seen them. They they literally these guys know how to like dismember you and keep you alive until they're yeah. done. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, definitely. I saw yeah, in, the, in, in the uh, in Southeast Asia in one country they had this thing where. They take you spread eagle over a sharpened bamboo stump, right? And they start watering the sharpened bamboo stump so that it goes in and just slowly but surely just goes all the way through and kills you. Yeah, because bamboo grows very fast. Yeah. Bamboo grows like you can grow like inches in a day, um, in one day. 
Um, yeah, I mean, listen, man, I'm all about yeah torture and and and, and cruel and inhumane shit. For those guilty like this, yeah. Yeah. Yo, I the the most I think one of the most fucked up videos I saw they called it the Ghost Rider, so they skinned this guy's whole head and he and you could see his eyes, his skull, and then they lit him his his head on fire. They put gasoline on it, and he was alive, but they called it the Ghost. I would have poured I would have poured fucking lemon juice on his head, but um, fire. They, I guess the, the... they skinned him. They like they skinned his head. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, that's not that's not as, that's not not that bad though. I mean, you could have um, that's that's really not that bad. That, that's, I, that's, yeah, I, I gotta admit to you. I mean, I used to watch those videos, and I realize now that they kind of they traumatized me a little bit, man, because it they was tough to see. It made you cold though, too. That I think you so. Ever <laughs> firsthand see the brutality that man is capable of doing? Right, exactly. Human being, it's fucking terrifying. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Salute. We got 400 in the chat, man. How many we got on Rumble? Make sure y'all supporting the channel. PayPal, Cash App, Super Chat, support the channel. 58 on Rumble, 420 on YouTube combined, all the channels combined. On a fucking Monday night at fucking 12 at 1 in the morning. Who's getting? Who's entertaining you at one in the morning on a fucking Monday night, man? This ain't Jay Leno or fucking Johnny Carson, man. I can tell you that much. Keeping it real too, Nothing as they do it. Them whole again. Yeah. But during sentencing, the victim's loved ones, including Mitchell's sister, didn't hold back. While well, they vented their anger, frustration, and heartbreak. I wasn't happy with it because for me, I want you dead. Mm. And I mean that from my uterus to the darkest place in my soul. <laughs> That's right, sister. Why you gotta bring you your uterus into this? You tell him, sister, man. Shit, she mean that shit, man. She wanted, she she meant that shit. Salute to her, man. She, yeah, she, the, 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 yeah, man. Salute to her. This shouldn't be controversial. What she's saying right here. This should be more people should talk like this, man. Sister didn't hold back. Well, they vented their anger, frustration, and heartbreak. I wasn't happy with it because for me, I want you dead. Mm. And I mean that from my uterus to the darkest place in my soul. Mm. Hate is such a strong word, but I hate you. And before today's plea deal, the trial had been scheduled to begin in August. Hal Donaldson III will now serve four consecutive life in prison sentences without the possibility of parole. <sighs> yeah. Um, salute to Sebastian Kim, man. He says, look up Necklacine, made famous by Nelson Mandela. <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, man, Necklacine is it. Necklacine, I, the reason I like Necklacine is because it's psychological. But I do think that it it, gets, it, it kills too fast for me. But what I, the fuck I, is it? It's when they put the. We'll have to go to we'll Rumble for that one day. But it's when they take a tire with fill it with gasoline. They stuff it over your like oh, shoulders. Like, like in Haiti, right? No, no. Well, that was a little different. They just like threw the tires on them. I mean, they stuff it over your shoulders, so you're like you're like stuck in the tire. Then they set it on fire, and it like. Damn, that turns you the fuck. That's pretty down. tough. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's pretty brutal. But the psychology, the way they they tor they give you a lighter and they torture you until you set it on fire. So until Damn. you, oh. yeah, they they make you light it with, with it's a lighter. Pretty intense. Yeah, that's the that's the only part that I like that they actually make you. They put you through so much pain that you think a better option is to light it and get it over. With. Damn. You know, that, and that's in certain cases, but I mean, some cases they light it. But the the part where I would do the one where the, where I would give put the lighter in your hand, I'd be like, all right, well, let's get started. I like and it. Like, yeah, yeah, because I mean, at this point, man, it's out of control, man. Crime, crime is out of control, man. Salute to KFX, man. He says the real late late show, man. Yeah, man, it's the late late show, man. Um, facts, man. Um, um. Let's see, uh, Johnny. Doesn't, doesn't Howell Donaldson the third though sound like a wealthy glider? Yeah, man. He, he, I mean, he sounds like, Howell, you know, like man. 
Yeah, Thurston Howell, exactly. Yeah, man. Salute, salute to um, Doug Chunks. He says, remember the scared straight campaign back in the 70s and 80s? No doubt the lefty D-bag shut that down. Man, you couldn't do scared straight nowadays, man. There's no way you could do scared you know, straight. You they don't even know with these kids because they know that legally they're, they're not allowed to really hurt them. If they were allowed to really fucking oh have at them. If the if these inmates, these big motherfuckers, could really put hands on them, they they'll figure it out. Yeah, um, but yeah, this is listen, man. Um, it, it it you can't even you can't even do basic things now. So there's no way. I mean, no way. More than five years after the no you way got, you could. You got to scare them straight with no cursing. Yeah, yeah, you gotta like, no, you gotta like give them hug. They would have to listen, man. We're we're in a fucking twilight zone, man. More than five years yeah, after the random the murders of four still. people, the Seminole Heights serial killer pleaded guilty this morning. The surprising development came during a hearing scheduled to discuss evidence. It's a decision that saves Howell Trey Donaldson from the death penalty, but he will never get out of prison. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez is live in our newsroom tonight. So, Gloria. Did this decision really surprise everyone this morning? Everyone, including the judge who found out this morning about... He looks like a hotter version of Tina Fey, man. This one right here. If Tina Fey was hot. Is everyone this morning? Everyone, including the judge who found out this morning about this plea deal. But keep in mind, the victim's families were aware and approved the deal. Accused Seminole Heights serial killer Hal Trey Donaldson surprised everyone including the court, when during a routine evidence hearing, he decided to plead guilty to four counts of murder. To those charges uh, that I've just described, how do you plead today? Guilty. Donaldson, who is facing the death penalty, was set to go to trial in August, but suddenly had a change of heart and went to the state with an offer of his own. He wanted to plead guilty to all the murders, in exchange for taking the death penalty off the table. We explained to them what life and avoidance of the death penalty means. Hillsborough State Attorney Susie Lopez says she went to the victim's families with the plea deal, and with the exception of one family, they all agreed to take it. They seek finality, and for them, this is justice. To know that Mr. Donaldson will never walk the streets of Hillsborough County or anywhere on this planet again. For the rest of his life. Don't yeah, but was that really in, like was was that gonna be like in dispute? Was he, you know, what I'm saying like he killed four people? Like was he gonna get like forty years? I mean, was was, was it a possibility he's gonna get like twenty years? No, like, they're, she, they're they're consecutive. They're not even concurrent. So it's gonna. It, no, you know, I'm he, talking about before the, the way she's the DA saying it as if like there was. That the family should be happy that he's never going to see the streets again. Taking this plea deal. Taking this plea deal. Yeah. Like, well, no, like, I, I have the solution actually. They said three of the four families. So he gets three life sentences and then he gets death for the fourth one. Yeah, man. It's just, it's just weird. <laughs> she's trying to come off with a victory. She, she's trying to absolve herself because she, she, you know, of course, she, um, ex She's the DA. She has the um, anti-death penalty. Sure. Yeah, she has the um, okay the um, the plea deal, but I I think that you could have went you could have went hard on this guy. You could have went for the death penalty. I I don't believe I believe they copped out, man. He just whacked four people for no reason. It's not even like they told him to leave yeah, somewhere. They did it because that DA yeah. is anti-death penalty. They just they just he just whacked him for no reason. They all agreed to take it. They seek finality, and for them, this is justice. To know that Mr. Donaldson will never walk the streets of Hillsborough County or anywhere on this planet again for the rest of his life. Donaldson is accused of causing terror and panic in Seminole Heights in the fall of 2017. They say he gunned down four innocent people who happened to be walking alone. Benjamin Mitchell, Monica Hoffa, Anthony Naiboa, and Ronald Felton. Police released this home surveillance video of the suspected gunman. Donaldson was eventually arrested after a McDonald's manager in Ybor City turned over a food bag with a 40 caliber Glock handgun he had given her to hold. One death, then a second, then a third, 
then a fourth. The city was paralyzed with fear. People were afraid to leave their homes. Who's next? Now Donaldson will spend the rest of his life in prison. One by one, the victim's families unleashed years of anger and grief. You took away my son and three other people. You chose to be a killer. You chose to be a killer. My heart is broken. I pray that you spend the rest of your life thinking about the reason you chose to be the beast, the murdering monster you are. He won't. He doesn't give a You will fuck. never know how much this hurt. You went out and you took my daughter's life. I'll never understand that. I'll never understand why it took so long to get to this point. He's going to have his pay to be done, life in prison. And God is going to really get him because he's going to reap what he has done to Ronald Felton. Donaldson hey, was sentenced uh, to four lives. So usually when you get a death penalty, uh, the jury has to be unanimous, right? In this case... No. I think it should have been unanimous for the victim's family to accept the plea deal. One person didn't. So to them, I don't think they're getting justice. Exactly. Normally, that would mean that, okay, no plea deal. We continue with the trial. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't. The DA did this shit because they're anti-death penalty lefty. 